what's good y'all it's boy ross back at it again with another video and my twitter has been buzzing with this latest uh development of vince mcmahon and a potential uh, another lawsuit coming his way and this time it's a little bit uh spicier well um, uh, I wouldn't say a little bit spicier. The previous lawsuits have definitely been on the spiced level, but this one definitely uh, is is going after some potential racist uh, situations that he may have been involved in. So we're gonna check this out, man. Appreciate all love and support you guys are showing on the channel, man. Let's get right into this one. What has Vinnie Mac found himself in this time? Vince McMahon and wwe facing lawsuit over racist scripts this don't sound good at all for you my boy but let's go right into it um vince mcmahon and the wwe finds himself battling a new legal front after a former writer for the company launched legal action over offensively racist scripts and pitches they were subjected to during their time there bianca belair apollo cruz and mansoor are, are among the WWE superstars named in the lawsuit filed by former company writer Brittany Abrams. Uh, Abrahams? Yeah, Brittany Abrahams, who uh, alleges that she was discriminated and retaliated against for objecting to offensive, offensively racist pitches and scripts. I don't know, man. That sounds that sounds believable. Yeah, you know, if you if you don't play ball. When it comes to Vince McMahon and the creative, they may look at you a little bit differently. That's just how it is. Um, Bloomberg, uh, Bloomberg has reported that Abrams, Abrahams uh, began working as a writer for the company in 2020. And according to the, com uh, the complaint, she objected uh, to Apollo Crews affecting a stereotypical Nigerian accent that was seen on television, as well as a stereotypical jargon such as pitch line for Bianca Belair to say, uh uh, don't make me take my, don't make me take off my earrings and beat your ass. I'm laughing. Because we did see Apollo Crews all of a sudden get this Nigerian accent and tap into his Nigerian roots, I guess, or whatnot. And it kind of worked for him to be a heel or whatnot, but I get it. Uh, I, I understand how someone could be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Where did this come from? It definitely does kind of walk into that stereotype of just all of a sudden he's black. Now he's, he's been black, but now he's Nigerian all of a sudden. Uh, the Bianca Bella part. I can I could definitely see Vince approving that that whole uh uh the sassy black woman <laughs> don't make me take this is so it's it's one of those things where that's WWE unfortunately especially when it comes to the 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 black wrestlers the the African American wrestlers we 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 tend to get stereotyped so much on television especially on WWE television so that doesn't sound that far-fetched uh abrahams who is seeking one million dollars as part of the suit alleges that she was subject uh, subject to racist pitches after complaining and pitches of that uh, nature were made on a slack channel that both vince mcmahon and stephanie mcmahon were part of one writer is alleged to have pitched that mansoor be behind the 9-11 attacks as part of a bizarre love triangle story love triangle storyline involving Aaliyah and Angel Garza uh I thought WWE learned their lesson with that I I, I thought they I thought they learned their lesson with that you guys remember the whole situation with the Undertaker getting beat up by some individuals with hoods and and, and and uh and, and combat combat pants and stuff like that y'all remember that this is yeah yeah the timing of that was also messed up because i believe there was like a bombing oh uh i'm not sure exactly where it was but the timing of that was messed up it was just you you think vince would learn that i don't uh what uh that's an awful pitch that shouldn't even be thought of. Like, oh yeah, he was behind nine. People actually died, legitimately. Like, what the? I hope that's not true. 
I hope this is just rumors, but once again, I don't put anything past Vince and his idea of what's entertaining. And if you're a writer, you kind of got to think like Vince because Vince is only going to take serious thing. Vince is only going to take storylines that Vince would would actually write. That's just how it is. You got to kind of dumb yourself down to his level of entertainment. Uh, Brittany A. Uh, Abraham contends that she was fired in 2022 for taking home a commemorative chair from WrestleMania 38, a practice that she says was a common and was common and that white writers were punished uh, and that white writers weren't punished for. She is seeking reinstatement, da uh, reinstatement damages, de uh, declaratory judgment and an injunction restraining defendants from participating in such unlawful conduct wow so that's kind of crazy if they actually let her go for taking taking one of the commemorative chairs home i don't know that's kind of a weird thing to just let somebody go over you know what i'm saying <laughs> like i don't know i don't know man there's a lot of speculation here you know it's a lot of we don't know the actual facts but i will say this some of the stuff that she listed off i do believe that Vince McMahon would book that or come up with that in creative and think it would be funny. I'm not, I'm, this is the same guy that went on live television. <clears throat> I believe he was the ECW champ at the time. He was rocking the do-rags and all this other stuff. He was killing the ECW brand and was walking around, you know, basically acting like he was black and literally on live television said, what up my nigga to John Cena? Like, this is not a new thing. And this is coming from someone that uh, is an African-American. And I've always loved, I wouldn't say always loved, but I grew up on WWE and their product. You know, I definitely strayed away at times. Um, but it's just one of those things where it's like, damn, you know, you notice certain situations. <clears throat> For example, crime time. That's a whole stereotype. Were they hilarious? Yes. Did they make it work? Yes. But it was still a, it was still a, a major, major stereotype. And in one of the stereotypes, I'm not going to lie to you, it's, it, it worked because it was funny. The same thing they got our truth doing. He's basically shucking and jiving, bro. That's, but he, he makes the best of it. And, and even though we make these jokes and memes of how when a, bra a black uh, wrestler is a champion, they end up getting squashed. All of a sudden, they'll have a, a okay title reign to get squashed. We saw it happen with Big E. <laughs> we saw it happen with Kofi Kingston. They, they end up, I wouldn't say they got squashed. Well, Kofi definitely got squashed. But it's just the way that they lose. They don't lose it in a... A way that's like, damn, that was a hard fought fight. Like, to this day, I don't think Kofi Kingston should have lost the match in a few seconds. I still don't think Big E should have got pinned in that match when Brock Lesnar was inserted. He shouldn't have gotten pinned if he was gonna drop the title. Like, I think that's just I think it's just kind of messed up. Now, granted, granted, I will say this. They're doing wonders with Bianca Belair. I am very appreciative of that. Even Vince was involved when she became the champion, uh, when she beat uh, Sasha Banks. And they had an amazing match that year. You guys know which WrestleMania I'm talking about. WrestleMania where the fans were actually able to come back. Vince was a part of that. And I think Triple H has been doing a great job of trying to keep her strong. So I think she's the longest reigning African-American champion out in WWE history. So that is awesome. That is awesome. But I also remember when Vince had her lose to fucking Becky Lynch in a few seconds as well, when Becky Lynch returned. I remember that. So I, it's the thing with me, I'm, I'm not going to go out my way and say Vince is a racist. I'm, I'm not going to say that. But I will say that Vince's sense of humor is nothing but corny, outdated stereotypes. And he will roll with that. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's his sense of humor. I'm not saying that it's right. And I'm, I wouldn't, I'm not going to condemn somebody on that. Because if you're calling someone a racist, you really got to know that that person doesn't, doesn't like our kind. You know, my, you know, anyone that doesn't look like them, they're not going to like them. 
and let's be honest there are companies and organizations they claim that they they're you know like they're 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 high ceos and people in charge oh yeah they love everybody but we all know they love the money more than they love equality let's keep it a buck and i think it kind of aligns the same with he, this i don't think vince goes out i don't think vince goes out his way to just actively hate different races and different ethnic backgrounds i just think he has this old school way of thinking that it's never changed it will never change and what he finds funny and should be on television that is what he's gonna put out there most of this stuff is oh that would be cool if we did it like that because i think that would be hilarious i think people would buy into it not realizing there's a different time period people don't really care for too much for the caricature uh caricatures you know sometimes it work but at the some at, there's also sometimes it doesn't work at, especially at the expense of uh, a, a group of people like that whole 9 11 pitch that is awful i mean i'm glad it didn't get seen but that is just i hope this is not true but once again i don't put anything past Vince. so comment down below let me know do you guys feel like this this uh this lawsuit what this person said um do you believe you know it has some truth to it or do you think this person is just trying to get some money off of vince let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel road to 150k and i'm still here on the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace